I'm back with a haul here, a Sephora and drugstore haul. Uh, for those of you who missed it or didn't know, Sephora actually had 15% off last week um, for those with the Beauty Insider card. So they emailed the coupon and you were able to use it online or in stores. I decided to go in stores because I love the experience of going there and getting to try the products and seeing it first. And I also bought um, a couple of drugstore items, so I guess we can start with that. So for the longest time, I've been a drugstore girl. Um, I got all my makeup from drugstores, but until recently, I started expanding my horizons towards a higher-end makeup, and that's when I started venturing off into Sephora. My very first purchase from Sephora was actually a gift, and um, it is this naked palette right here. Naked 2 palette. So this was the first thing I ever owned from Sephora. But anyways, back to drugstore. Um, I recently repurchased these uh, Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. Um, I feel like they're really good for everyday use. The first one I had was Smitten, and I kept reusing it on a daily basis, and then I lost it. And it wasn't until I lost it that I realized how often I use my balm stain. So I had to go out and repurchase it, and at the time, CVS was having a buy one get one 50% off, so I purchased two. One in Smitten, which is the one I've always used, and one in Lovesick, which is a little bit of a brighter pink, but they're very similar in color. It's just a little lighter and a little bit brighter. Next, I have this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Concealer. I bought it in neutral and I just use it for under my eyes to cover up dark spots, on the bridge of my nose, and um, any sort of blemishes. And I've heard a lot of gurus rave about this, so I thought I'd give it a shot and pick it up. And I think the formula is great. It really doesn't crease. I use this right before work and it doesn't crease the whole evening and that is a 13 hour shift. So. This is great. My last drugstore product that I purchased recently is this Maybelline Falsies Mascara. But this is the dual ended one that has a normal end on one side and a skinny end on the other side so you can define your bottom lashes um, with more precision. Pre precision. So you. Precision. That's what it's really made for, but this is really great for your eyebrows. I actually use it for my eyebrows and it just, it works out perfectly because of that thin wand. Before I got this, I actually used the normal Maybelline falsies and I thought I'd try this out with the thin wand and I'm really glad I did. The last thing I got from a drugstore, it's actually Walmart. I got this from Walmart, which you might be surprised by, but it's these Real Techniques brushes by... Samantha Chapman, who's actually does YouTube videos also, but I picked up the the base flawless core collection 2.0 and This was around 15 to 18 dollars at Walmart but um, It comes with a buffing brush a pointed foundation brush and a contour blush I really love the contour brush for my bronzer. So I think this is great. I've been getting used out of it every day and Walmart carries it, so pretty much this is accessible to a lot of us out there because of Walmart. Thank you, Walmart, for carrying awesome products. So now on to our Sephora haul. I got this nice hefty bag. I'm going to the paper. But like I said, I'm a newbie to Sephora, so I wanted to get some basics that would kind of introduce me to the Sephora world and how different it is and what I can get out of it. So I started with some foundation. I picked up this Get Started Complexion Kit from Bare Minerals. I think kits like these are great to introduce you to a line and a product. It, it's, it's a great tester because you get a little bit of everything from the company. So you can kind of tell what you like. It comes in this black makeup pouch, which I think is simple and nice. And it's nice and shallow, which is what I like for my makeup bags. So you're not like searching around. It does get dirty fairly easily, especially because it's black and the contents are light powders. It starts to show prints after a while, but you just wipe it down with um, an alcohol wipe and it usually clears up. 
and what's inside which is really a really good deal for $49 you get a brush a makeup kit two of the foundations one in matte one in original mineral veil the warmth and prime time so it's really it's a really good starter kit for somebody who's never used Bare Minerals before. I thought it was a great purchase. I've used it already. Uh, it is a very light coverage, so if you have a lot of blemishes, you're going to need to use concealer still. But it is very light. That is what I like about it. It feels like you're not even wearing anything. I find that when I use it before a 13-hour shift that my face does get oily by the end of it. Next, um, I got this Lorac foundation. Um, Sephora is no longer carrying Lorac products. I think they're trying to get rid of the stuff they have already. And um, the Sephora I went to actually still had some foundation. So I got this for like around $20, which is a bargain because it usually sells for a little bit more than that. I got the color 6, SMS 6. And this is the Breakthrough Performance Foundation. And it has SPF 14 in it. It's it's great. It's not heavy. That's what I like about it. Price and for what it is, it's a great bargain. But back to our Sephora. Um, I also picked up this Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel, which I've been using on my eyebrows. I got it in the color Granite. And I like this because it looks really, really natural uh, versus like a pencil. I, I really like the tinted brow gel. I think it's helpful when you already have some eyebrows and it just helps to change the color, make it darker, or add a little bit of oomph to it. But if you don't have eyebrow hairs, this is not going to work that well for you. But I think this is great. It gives it a very natural look. And it's perfect for what I need. For lip products, um, I purchased this Rouge Infusion. Um, it's actually a Sephora brand. I picked it up in Ruby Extract, which is what I have on now. I think it's great. Uh, I really love the color. I think the pigmentation is wonderful. But my only um, complaint about this is that it's a tint. So it's supposed to stay on, but... It wears off unevenly. I, frequently I find myself with a lip line and that's where the tint like coagulates and stays and not so much in the center. So this wears off unevenly but I do like the color so if you're willing to reapply it I think this is great but if you're looking for a long lasting tint I don't think this is the way to go. I do love the color and the tint and how light it is. It's moisturizing. It's not drying it's not sticky so i do like the formulation but but i probably would repurchase this the next thing i have is the occ lip tar uh, i've been wanting this for quite some time and that 15 percent off just gave me a good excuse to buy it so i got the occ lip tar in black dahlia and i'm really excited to try it out i know that it's more of a fall color with the vampy lip but hey it's okay if you can rock it, you can wear it. I picked up this little travel size Josie Marin Argan Oil. I got it in the light because my, my skin is already fairly oily and I want to use this as a moisturizer even during the day so I don't want to be too greasy. But I got the travel size because I wanted to... Oops. <laughs> I got the travel size because... I wanted to see how it worked for me before I purchased the large size because, oops, there it goes again. Because it's not cheap, so I want to make sure I love it first. I finally purchased Urban Decay's Primer Potion. So I know everybody raves about this and I don't know, I just never purchased it before and because I thought it was a little pricey. I had figured I could probably find a dupe for it, but... I kid you not, this thing is amazing. Like I said, I have 13 hour shifts, so I really try not to put anything on my eyes because it never lasts quite as long as I want it to. And by the end of the night, it makes me look horrible. Like my eyeshadow is just everywhere, there's creases everywhere. So 
I figured it's not even worth it. Let me just go without. And then I purchased this and I tested it out the other day. Put it on. I put my eyeshadow on. And lo and behold, by the end of my shift, my eyeshadow was right where I left it. Really glad I finally decided to shell out the big bucks for these. Okay, so I'm on my last thing here, and um, this is something I've, I've wanted for a little while, but I always resist, resisted getting it because I knew I didn't really need it. So that 15% off, man, that gets you. That's a really good marketing ploy. But I finally picked up the Naked 3 palette. This was my first Sephora product, the Naked 2 palette. I got it as a gift. And it is in great shape, besides the fact that a couple of the colors aren't glued down anymore. But I haven't hit pan on any of them. So I knew I didn't really need any more neutrals, but the Naked 3 palette is just so pretty with the rose gold and pink hues that I knew I had to get it. And get it is what I did. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'm a newbie to the whole Sephora world and I'm really glad I finally joined the rest of civilization but if you have any product recommendations for me please feel free to leave it down below because I'm really excited to see what else Sephora has to offer. If you're curious as to which purse I picked from my last video between the luggage Michael Kors and the black Michael Kors I actually decided to go with the black Michael Kors. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching the video. Bye!